in this video i'll show you one chat gpt alternative and that too absolutely for free this is another open source model this is a product of alibaba now the tool i'm going to talk about that is quen llm earlier i published another video in this channel where i covered quen 2.5 model today i'm going to show you their new model that is Quen LLM3. In this video, I will also show you some of the other capabilities they brought in as part of their new model. So let me show you very quickly. Currently, I am in Google homepage and here I will paste this particular link that is chat.quen.ai. Now, I logged in directly in this particular console. If you are using it for the first time, you can use your Google credentials to log in. You can also create a separate email ID and you can log in using that email ID password also. So both options are there. Now let me show you a few of the things here. So first of all, it's a similar interface like ChatGPT, right? Here you will be able to type your prompt. Let me show you a few of the examples here. There are multiple different options are available here. If you click on more, it will show you a few more things like summarize text. If I click on it, then it will give you some four or five different options under that text summarization category and this is giving you some of the sample prompt which you can use and you can take some of the inspiration so if i click outside then all these options are available you will be click on any of them and you will be able to get going so this is to as a starter it's giving you all those recommendations how you can use coin llm now this is one part second one is if you click on this thinking model you will be able to use their thinking model i'll show you certain examples when this thinking model can be utilized. But one good option is available here. If you click on this drop down, you will be able to mention the token size of your requirement. So if you are an advanced user and you want to limit your token size whenever you are testing any of the prompt, that you can utilize here. So I'll keep it as the maximum. And then if you want to use internet search capabilities, you will be able to click on this particular option and you will be able to do that. One good part is it allows you to use thinking model and web searching abilities together. There are certain frontline tools are available in market which doesn't allow this thing. So this is one good part. But I'll show you all these options in a while. Before that, let me show you this particular interface and what are some of the additional capabilities they offered. Now, if I want to go to settings, there are two options here. You can click on your profile picture and there you'll be able to go to settings. Same option is available. If I click on this particular option, the left pane will be visible and there in the bottom left corner, you will be also getting the same options, whatever are available in the top right. So I'll click on this particular option so that we'll have a cleaner view. Now, let me show you under settings. There are few of the very important thing which are not available in any other LLM models. So if I click on settings, normal options are there like different dark theme, system theme, light theme, all those things are there. But if I come to interface, there are few of the additional features are available. One is wide screen mode. If you click on that, then you will be able to use it in wide screen mode. The full screen will get utilized. Normally, whenever we use any of the LLM model, it only use the middle portion of your screen. But if you click on it, you'll be able to utilize the wide screen mode. Another option is there, title auto generation. Whenever you are typing any of the prompt, will it automatically generate a title for that particular chat interaction so that later from your left pane, you will be able to find out that particular chat using those things or you want to do it manually. So both options, you can check it here. So if I come to interface, you will be able to see this is currently enabled. There are few other options are also available here and using those you will be able to customize your view. Now one very good thing is available here model. If you come here, there are multiple different models are available currently under Quen. You can see earlier models, all 2.5 models are there. And on top of that, Quen 3 related three models are also available here. Now, if you click on any of this drop down, you will be able to understand that what that model is capable of, what are the capabilities are there, what it can do, for which scenario this particular model will be better than the other one, 
all those options are here so if you are interested to check any of this you will be able to get a good idea here that summary is available here once you click on this drop down i'll show you how all those models availability and how those can be utilized here and i'll also show you how can you compare between different models using a same prompt there are other options are available under chat you can see import export all those things are there but that you can check those are self explanatory but i thought of showing you this few of the options which are a bit unique than other tools. Now, if I close it and if I again click on this particular option to keep a clean view, now you can see if I click on this drop down, I will be able to see all the models are available. Now it's showing Coin 3, all three models and Coin 2.5 max. Now, if you click on expand more models, then it will show you additional list of available models. All those things are available here. Now, before I show you the next option, one small announcement. I have published a couple of courses on Skillshare. I added one link in the description below. Using that, you will be able to take a trial of Skillshare and there you will be able to watch my courses. You will be also able to watch courses from multiple different other renowned creators in every field from different part of the world. And those are very, very high quality courses so that you can check. And during this trial period, if you are not happy with the platform, you can discontinue any point of time. Check out the link if you are interested. Now, coming back, one very good thing, which is not very often available elsewhere. If you see currently one model has been selected. If I turn off this thinking model and search capability, now one new icon appeared here. That is add model. So this is a battle mode. Currently Coin 3 22 billion model is selected. If I click on it, I will be able to select another model here. If I select Coin 2.5 max, then whenever I will be typing any of the prompt here, both model will work and it will show you those results side by side. So maybe if you are planning to use Coin 3 API in your application and you want to test out how both models are performing based on certain prompts, you can test it here. So let me use one of the prompt and show you what am I talking about. So if I just copy one of the prompt and if I click on this particular button, it will start working side by side. You can see the coin 3 is faster than 2.5. It started working and it gave the answer very quickly where 2.5 is still working and now it gave the answer. So side by side, you will be able to compare both models. In fact, side by side, you can compare three different models. If you have any such requirement, all those three you can select and you will be able to. If you want to remove any of the model from the comparison, you just need to click on this remove the minus sign and it will get removed. So this is the way you will be able to use coin LLM in battle mode. Now you understood that how the interface is and mainly how to work on that. Let me now test this particular model and show you how capable these models are and how is it performing. So if I click on a new chat, say I'll select one of the new model of coin three and let me check its thinking capabilities. So if I paste this particular prompt, this is a question and where thinking abilities will be required. If I click on this particular button, then let's see how it's performing. Currently, you can see it's using that wide skin mode where in the left and right, there is no margin, right? Earlier, we selected this particular option under settings. Now you can see it started thinking and it's showing all those options here, how it's thinking, how it's approaching the problem, everything is showing. Also, it's mentioned that entire token budget is being used. So you can limit the token size if you have any specific requirement. Now you can see it's still thinking and after the thinking process will be over, it will come up with the response. So this is the way all thinking model works. It be chat GPT, Gemini, everywhere we see that. Now we can see it's coming up with the answers and it is giving us the entire breakdown. And at the end, it will give you the final response. So it concluded and this is the right answer only. Check out this particular option and let me know if it answered correctly or not. Now let me show you a few more things, how this model is working. Can it generate images? How it approaching other issues? Let me show you. So I'll go to a new chat and there now I'll paste another prompt. Compare the business model of Tesla, Rivian and BYD in EV market. Here, both thinking and internet search capabilities will be required because using the thinking model, it will give us the analysis and 
using the search it will be able to search the right data from the internet you can see it is searching the different sources 10 different sources it already searched and after crawling through those websites it's trying to figure out how the response will be so it collected the data using the search capability and then it thought for some of the time and then now it's coming up with the responses so both models as i mentioned in the beginning right both thinking model and search capabilities if we can use it together then the response of the model would be better than normal trained model right so this is the way it gave a conclusion just read it and maybe use this particular prompt i will add these prompts in the comments below so you will be able to uh, execute these prompts and you will also be able to understand how it responded you can see it also gave the all the citations why it concluded in this way what are the resources it checked everything is available here on now let's see how it generates images because earlier i published a couple of videos where i shown coin as an alternative of chat gpt if you want to generate images for free let me click on image generation and then you will be getting few of the options first of all you will be able to select the size of the image there are multiple different options are available i'll select this particular option 16 is to 9 that aspect ratio i'm looking for the image and then i'll paste my prompt here earlier i copied this prompt from mid journey and let me use it here and if i click on this button then it will start generating the image and it will show you the progress normally it generates images very quickly but sometime it may take a bit more time but this time it generated you can see it could not do a justice i asked for a one single tennis player but it generated a mix image let me click on regenerate and let's see how it generates this time so this time it generated this image while i'm still not very convinced about the image earlier using the 2.5 version images were better earlier i published one full video also covering this particular thing but image generation i don't see uh, it's doing a very good job let me just select another model and try then if it can generate this time in proper way and if i ask it no images are not generating properly so that's a drawback earlier version it was generating uh, in a much better way you can see this is not a right image right so images it's not generating properly so earlier when i tested coin 2.5 it was generating very good images but here it's not able to do that so let me know in the comments below what do you think about this tool will it be useful maybe other than the image generation in other ways will it be useful not useful or if you have any other comment please mention in the comments below if you want to also talk to me directly for any questions or anything uh, now that option is available using fan call application i have added one link in the description below using that you'll be able to block my calendar and you know, you'll be able to talk to me if you have any such comment earlier i published another video where i covered another open source free tool which can be used for free check out this video if you want to know everything about it